minor granados I think you want to make your sub destination the gajic note that means it gets bundled with energy so that it takes you all the way down the scale and the natural minor there so um, if you don't have enough bundled energy it peters out and it becomes very fluffy descent you want to be tracked it in so you get this in slow motion so you get this this is a rolled in note. The thumb is rolling in to the third beat that's tied over to the next measure's eighth note. Quarter tied over to the eighth note. So, keep the traction. Answer that. Less sequence, but traction. Harmonic minor. That's decaying. Pick it up on the decaying. Roll. Answer. You come back soft, but then roll to there. Answer. Softer, but. Surprise A flat. some pretty big jumps. You have broken chords, but they're um, spaced out like Chopin does, where you don't have root third fifth, but you might have root fifth third spaced out over a couple of octaves. And that makes it tricky because it's easy to have it chopped up. Now what he does here is he has a root G, and then he goes to the fifth over the octave, and then he has the third here. sense that as if you were playing it with say two hands and you could roll it all the way across with seamlessness like this. It would be really nice if we could do it that way but we can't because we have, that's better, um, 
because we have one hand occupied with the, with the melody and we have to do, the left hand has to do those big jumps. But you have to at least in your mind think of a seamless lateral motion for that. You can experiment with how you're, you want a pretty good bass nose, fundamental bass, and you're floating this way to this, less to this, and least to this. That's pretty hard to do. So more, less, balance because you still hear your bass and the notes in the middle are sort of cr creating the, what's in between the, uh, the grouping the, the cluster of notes in between and the next one is going to be the same thing but it's a little easier because you don't have such a big jump from five to five here because I do use five I do I do do that here you have pretty much within a ninth you have a G G C to do too because that G can come popping out as a downbeat when it really is fading off because you have a slur of four. So if you did it with two hands it would be easier if you could do this. One, two, three. It's a perfect blend that way. A little more bass and fold down. Bass going across. And you have to do it with this hand. Bass. You have to practice that for what's called voicing. How are you voicing? What kind of weight transfer you need to let up on your weight transfer as you go across? And all of these, I'd experiment with that. The next one has a root, a root, a fifth. This is like a clash of a tonic against a dominant. See, so he's put that together. You also did that in the other measure we had the root of G minor, but these represent the notes in the dominant. And then he comes back to the, the G there. So it has like dominant against tonic. But it's more formidable here because you hear the F sharp when he, when he clashes its bitonal harmony where he has this. You hear more notes of the dominant. You have, this is the only lingering tonic note there, but still, that's a good blend. And now he does a uh, perfect tonic here. Root, fifth, middle note, third, root. But that also has to just roll and You know if you're crashing too hard on that last note that it, it will disturb the balance that you want. So that's what you have to practice in this. You have to really be careful about that. Now the next, the first ending, he has rolls, rolls in three. Now these were rolls in four. These were four note components of either a pure harmony or a bitonal, meaning um, tonic and dominant overlapping each other and creating dissonance. But now he has the dominance of B flat major so you have just three notes, and it's easier because it's easier. So lean a little bit on the dominant tonic B flat. This is a four chord of G minor, five chord, and to be done. Then you could go back to, before you go to the 
second ending, go to the measure before, which was a group of four notes. two hands together, you have to remember that one hand is doing a group of four for a couple of measures in the left hand with the broken chords, and the other hand has a different configuration of how you're sculpting it with, with the gajic note. Mm -hmm. 